So today we're going to start this Chinese lantern paper collage. And the finished product is going to look a little bit something like this. So the way you start is you're going to start with a scrap piece of paper and a small white paper. You're going to take the white paper, write your name, and the day you have your class, A, B, or C. You're going to fold your paper in half twice. So that you get four boxes. Now you can take your pencil and trace the creases. So that you see your four equal boxes. And remember to put your paper on the scrap paper like this so you have scrap all the way around. If you put your paper like this, you won't have space all the way around when you're painting the edges. And we're gonna start with these four colors. You have red, yellow, green, and violet. What's most important is that you don't mix red and green together on your paper or yellow and violet together. They'll make an ugly brown color. So the first thing I want you to do is um, take some red and paint one of your boxes just plain red. So take your paintbrush and fill in all the white spaces. And when you're painting and you're almost finished with the color, try to get most of that paint off your paintbrush when you're um, working on the paper. Try to get most of it off there. All right, and so in your next space, um, maybe you'll do red and yellow together and get kind of an orange space. So I'm gonna take some yellow, and my paintbrush is a little dirty from the red, but hopefully I got most of my paint off my paintbrush before I get a little bit of yellow. And I'm gonna paint some yellow. And you can see I have some red on my paintbrush, so the yellow kind of already looks a little orange. And so I paint it one box in solid, no white showing, and fill in get all those spaces. And so I didn't have to add any red because I already had some red on my paintbrush. All right, so again, I'm going to try and get most of that paint off my paintbrush by kind of pulling it across my paper. So now we want to do a little green and a little yellow. Now remember how I said at the beginning, I don't want you to mix red and green together as they make a brown. And I kind of have some red on my paintbrush, so I'm going to just try and clean most of that off on the scrap here. Okay, so now I'm going to take some green, paint that, and then add a little bit of yellow to it to lighten it up. and fill in the box all the way. Okay. And finally, let's do some red and violet. So I'm gonna clean my green off as much as I can. And now I'll do some red and violet. So we'll get some red on here, paint some red, and then add just a little bit of violet and mix those two together so I can get kind of a red violet. I don't want this to look like the red. Okay. All right, and then you're done for the first day. the second day you'll get a nice dry painted paper where you have your violet and your red and violet and your red and yellow or red and orange and um, yellow and green and you're going to fill each one of these boxes with some pattern and you're going to use construction paper crayons. So any kind of pattern that you can think of something interesting and obviously you wouldn't want to use a yellow crayon on a um, or a yellow oranges crayon on a yellow oranges space. You kind of want to pick light crayons for darker colors, maybe the red and the violet lighter colors, and then darker colors for um, the darker spaces. So you can do something as simple as some polka dots, but I'd like you to jazz up each of your patterns and kind of make them more complex. So just little polka dots isn't going to be good enough. 
Maybe leave some space between each of the polka dots and then pick a different color and maybe circle each one. This jazzes them up a little bit, makes them a little bit more interesting, a little bit more complex. But if you look at this, this pattern does not fill the space up very much. So maybe take another crayon, maybe do a zigzag around each one. And now this is starting to fill up the space a little bit more. <clears throat> You're gonna be cutting out lantern shapes from this paper, so um, you don't want to have a small pattern that doesn't fill the space. So see what you can come up with. I could do wavy lines around this. Maybe I do like um, sun lines, you know, like short little vertical and diagonal lines going around each one. They maybe look, make them look like a sun. Okay, and you don't have to do polka dots. Maybe you wanna do, um, maybe you'd like to do some flowers. And those might be more interesting or hearts or stars. Those are definitely more interesting than plain old polka dots. All right, um, let's see, I have a finished one here, all ready to go. So it kind of looks like this. So I did kind of flowers with some um, white little lines here. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see better. All right, so little yellow flowers with some white lines here. I did a wavy, a zigzag, a wavy, a broken, wavy, zigzag, wavy, broken. So this is a simple pattern, but I just it up by using three different lines and kind of creating um, an A, B, A, B, B, C pattern. This one, um, I started with polka dots in a straight line and then tried to see what I could come up with. And kind of did um, a snowflake pattern here with a zigzag around it. So after you get your patterns on there nice and neat, filling up the space, you're gonna flip your paper over and you're gonna use the lantern patterns that I have already ready for you to use. And they fit inside each box. So you might wanna take your pencil, even though your name is gonna be on the back. So let me put my name on the back here so I can show you. Even though your name is on the back and your letter of the day, you can still put the crisscross. I'll zoom out a little bit. And now, when you put your lantern pattern, make sure it fits within that box. So this lantern pattern is gonna to touch the top of the box and the bottom of the box, and it's gonna to touch both sides. And you wanna trace around it very carefully. And you wanna pay close attention to what lines you're gonna cut. Because you have lots of different cool lines on the back here from your name and everything. You could even take a crayon if you're worried that you won't remember what line you're supposed to cut, you could take a crayon and trace your lanterns. That might be a really good idea. And that way you don't accidentally cut on the wrong kind of line. All right? And each box should have a different lantern. So in this box here, this lantern, if I put it this way, it would be going the wrong way. If I put it this way, it fits in the box pretty equally. And so you're gonna trace around this lantern very carefully. And you can see it touches both sides of the box and the lanterns fill up the space. Again, if you're worried you won't know what lines to cut, take a crayon and trace those lines so you know which ones you're cutting on so you don't accidentally cut the wrong line. Okay. This one, this one's probably the easiest one to fit. not as wide as the box. Okay. And then this last one here. And make sure you get them to fit. If you turn them the wrong direction, they will not fit in the box. Okay, this one's a little big for the box. So I think what I will do is I'll slide one side of it off the edge of the paper. Over here, it runs off the edge a little bit, but that's okay. And I'll trace around it. And so then you're going to carefully cut each one of these out. Follow those crayon lines very carefully, nice and smooth, so that the shape still looks like the shape that you had traced. You don't want it to look like something, like a blob or something that you hadn't originally traced.
Okay. You're going to flip those over and you have your lanterns and then you're going to pick a background paper. And I'll have a variety of colors to choose from. Today I have the salmon color, purple color, or a lime color. On my finished example I use that lime color. So I think on this one I'll use the purple. And you're going to lay these down and they're going to have to touch and overlap. So first thing you want to do is look for the straight edges of your lanterns. Those straight edges, those, are, those represent the top and the bottom of your lanterns. So your lanterns don't hang with the straight sides on the left and the right. They hang top to bottom. And pick one to start with. And you're going to glue this onto your paper. And you don't want to glue it right in the middle. You want to kind of think you have four lanterns, you have four corners of your paper kind of space them out that way, but they're going to overlap and touch a little bit. So I'll start with this one in this upper right hand corner. And then you're going to use a ruler and your pencil and you're going to draw a straight line from the top of your paper to the lantern and then use your permanent marker to trace that line. And then you get to use my special gold paint pen to add a little tassel on the bottom. So the first thing you do is you leave the cap on your paint pen and you shake it up and it sounds like um, spray paint, a spray paint can. You pull the lid off and you get a scrap paper to see if the paint's working. If it doesn't, um, if paint's not coming out of it, all you need to do is press the marker down and then back up and paint will get on the tip. And then you're just going to take your gold paint pen and you're going to add a little tassel at the bottom of the lantern right in the middle kind of hanging down and doesn't need to be too big because your lanterns are kind of small all right and then you're going to glue another lantern down okay and since this is kind of a vertical skinny lantern in the upper right i think i'll do a vertical skinny lantern in the bottom left again i'm going to add my line, a straight line down, the thing that hangs the lantern. Use a marker, black marker to trace. And then the gold paint pen to add the little tassel at the bottom. Okay, and then I have two horizontal lanterns that kind of go side to side. Decide. I'll start with the top one here. And they're going to overlap and touch a little bit, and that's okay. So I'm going to glue this one here. Draw my straight line from the top of my paper down to the middle of the lantern. Black marker. Gold marker for a tassel. Try to make sure that you put your tassels on the construction paper, the background paper, not where they would be on the painted paper because this paint pen doesn't like to draw on the painted paper. And then finally my very last lantern down here at the bottom. Now this one is my tricky one. I don't want to see you draw a line through a lantern, these black lines. I don't want them to go through the lantern. So what I'll do is lay my ruler down where it goes and then I'll draw a line right here to the lantern, pick up my pencil, start at the bottom of the lantern and go to the next lantern so that this will look like the line is behind this top lantern. And then my tassel at the bottom and I'm all finished. And there you have your Chinese lantern collage.